Second, I can announce that as of Monday the 15th of June, face coverings will become mandatory on public transport. That doesn't mean surgical masks, which we must keep for clinical settings. It means the kind of face covering you can easily make at home. There'll be exemptions to these rules for very young children, for disabled people, and those with breathing difficulties. But broadly, as we come through this phase, we're doing what many other countries have asked transport users to do. And as passenger numbers increase, and we expect this trend to continue, we need to ensure every precaution is taken on buses, trains, aircraft, and on ferries. With more people using transport, the evidence suggests that wearing face coverings offers some, albeit limited, protection against the spread of the virus. A face covering helps protect our fellow passengers. It's something that we can each do to help each other. And whilst it also remains true that measures like maintaining social distancing, washing your hands, remain the most critical things to do, we also know on public transport, keeping two metres apart is not always possible at all times. Indeed, the guidance explicitly recognises this fact. So when more people return to the network from the 15th of June onwards, we will, they will be required to wear face coverings on transport networks.